Hey everyone, this is Ahsoka and Padme436, your fangirls, and this is Padme here, and today I am so excited because I'm going to be doing a video that I have actually never done before about autograph collecting, and this is basically going to be an autograph guide, how to get started, and how to really get on with your autograph collection if you want to start collecting. A lot of people have been asking um, how I get all my autographs and what it involves and all of that kind of stuff, so I decided that I was going to make a video just showing you guys how I do it and what to do, so let's get started. Okay guys, so the type of autograph collecting that I do is through the mail, um, aka sending letters to my favorite celebrities and they sign and send back. But it's not that basic. First off, your autograph collecting journey is going to start with the website fanmail.biz. Okay guys, so this website is very, very important. Um, you can just, it shows successes that people have and addresses and everything. It's a very important website that I go on for all of my fan mail stuff. And basically what you're going to want to start out is if you want to send a letter to your favorite celebrity and receive an autograph back, you have to make sure that they respond to fan mail at all. I mean, there are some really famous celebrities that don't respond, but a lot of celebrities do, but a lot of them don't as well. So basically you're going to check if they respond at all, and basically how you're going to do that is you're going to type in the name of the celebrity on the fanmail.biz website, and then go to their little address page, and then you, there's a, on the top there's a link that says last feedback received and you're gonna to want to push the little arrows and then it'll bring you to a page of feedbacks received and if they have never received feedback that means that they don't respond to fan mail so don't waste your time sending to them or if they um, they even responded within like the last year or year and a half then I would say that they don't respond to fan mail anymore because oftentimes you'll see celebrities respond to fan mail and then as they start to get more famous they stop so if they haven't sent it in the last year or year and a half I wouldn't waste your money on sending to them because you're not going to get anything back and you're just going to be wasting money on postage, letters, and pictures, guys. So you may, you just have to make sure that they respond to fan mail and that's a very important step because you don't want to waste like a bunch of money. When I first started collecting, I wasted a lot of money sending to people that didn't have any feedback or didn't have any feedback in the last like year, year and a half. Okay, so. That's your step, and then um, basically, if you see that an auto uh, that um, a celebrity responds, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to Walgreens or um, go online at Walgreens, Target, like any place where you can print out pictures and print out pictures. You save pictures from Google onto your flash drive and then print them out. You can even print them out on online places like Snapfish and Shutterfly.com. Um, but I usually go to like Walmart or Target or something to get them printed. And so here are pictures for Richard Armitage, aka Thorn Orkin Shield from The Hobbit. And yeah, I'm going to send to him. And basically, uh, you have to get these pictures printed because you want to have nice professional pictures that are going to last a long time and not flimsy pictures like computer printed pictures. And then your next step is once you have these pictures, you're going to want to be, you're going to want to write a letter to the person. Um, right here I have just like a little plain, um, nice little stationary card and I always write a card and basically in the card you're going to want to explain um, why you like them, why you're a fan, uh, how you've enjoyed their acting, just like anything and you want to make it original and not just be like, yeah, I loved you in Harry Potter. Like, you're not going to just want to make it really boring, you want to make it original and explain what significance the celebrity has had in your life and then at the end of the letter, I always write like, it would mean so much to me if you could sign these two pictures or this picture for me and send it back to me. Um, it would, and then you say thank you so much and um, thanks so much for your time and or whatever you want to write basically. But you have to write. It would mean so much to me if you could send if you could sign these pictures for me. So basically, that's what you're gonna do for sending your letter. And what you're gonna need in the overall envelope to send to the person is you're going to need a self-addressed stamped envelope so you're gonna have your address on here which this is so they can reply to you they're gonna put the pictures in this envelope so you're gonna have your address on here and then you're gonna have a stamp on there so they can respond and guys it's very very important that you include a stamp because if you don't include a stamp it does not ensure your reply um, I mean a lot of celebrities won't respond unless you send a stamp because that's a lot of money for them to have to pay for every single person so you're gonna want to send a stamp in your address so a self address envelope in the entire package and then right here this is the en actual envelope which you're gonna enclose the pick the self address stamped envelope the uh, the letter and the pictures all in here and this is the, you're gonna put the fan mail address right here and then your address up here and then of course the postage to send it there so that's 
all of this is going to go in this envelope and then you're gonna send it to them and then hopefully get a reply guys and so I love autograph collecting so much and it's a really awesome hobby and I also I'm gonna go over some important um, autograph like uh, terms that you want to know for collecting. First off, this one is via venue, VV. Um, it's very important that you know this one because you can, if you send via venue, AK, sending to a theater where they are um, performing or where they're filming, like a, a just like a studio where they're filming, um, you can actually get responses from people who don't respond just through their agencies. Um, and for an example of this, I'm just going to share my. Um, examples of this. Um, I've gotten uh, an autograph from Ewan McGregor by sending to a st film studio which he was filming at, which he doesn't respond normally through his agency, so that's a really great success. And then also I sent to another film studio um, for Rupert Grint um, when he was filming uh, CBGB, I think that's what it's called, um, and he responded. And that's amazing because he never responds through his agency. So Via Venue is also a very helpful way of sending through the mail in which you are more likely to get a response from people who never send through their agency. And then over here is another important term which is SAE or um, CACE and SAE is self-addressed envelope which you're gonna need you're gonna need a self-addressed stamped envelope though but some people um, do respond with self-addressed envelopes so you're gonna want to check that out on the feedback and see if they do with just a self-addressed envelope. And then over here is another one which is lore which means letter of request, which is the letter that you're going to be sending to the celebrity in which you're going to be uh, requesting the autograph and explaining why you love them so much. And then over here is TTM, which is just through the mail. And you're going to see these terms a lot in the feedbacks on fanmail.biz, so they're important to know so you understand what people are talking about. And also, guys, one thing I forgot to mention was international postage. You're going to want to, um, if you are sending to an international person, you're going to need postage for them to respond back. So you're going to want to make sure that you have enough money postage wise to um, for them to reply and basically you're going to have to buy postage on um, the uh, Royal Mail website. If you're doing like, if let's say you're sending a letter to the UK, you're going to need UK postage on your self-addressed envelope um, for them to respond. So basically I always buy um, unused postage, like new postage, on um, either the, U the United Kingdom um, eBay website or I buy it on the um, United Kingdom mail website either way but you're going to want to make sure by currency converter um, that you have enough money in postage wise to send back because the currency is obviously different and you're going to make sure that they have enough money enough money to get to America or wherever you live um, and you just have to see if it to send a letter from the UK to America is a uh, a dollar and five cents I think so you're gonna want to make sure that you have at least or more than a dollar and five cents in American money so they will be able to send back and guys I know this is a really long video but I really hope you enjoyed it and um, if you have any other questions about autograph collecting I would love to answer them and I really hope that this um, is gonna help a lot of people maybe get them into autograph collecting if you've wanted to collect or I just hope that it's a great guide that you guys can look at to see what you need to start your autograph collecting so thanks so much for watching and I hope that you have an amazing day thanks